are you guys doing today? This is me, Anthony Tirado with AJTFX Learning. In today's video, we're actually going to do a platform overview of MetaTrader 4. So in today's video, we're actually going to go from the beginnings of setting it up and actually downloading our platform overview to actually going over the key essential elements and aspects into our platform that actually help us when conducting our technical analysis. But before we could actually jump into MetaTrader 4 and all that good stuff, make sure if you haven't done so already, stay connected with us, whether if it's Instagram, Snapchat, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all of which can be done at AJTFX Learning. And if you haven't done so already, visit our website at AJTFXLearning.com for some great trader tips and tips, yeah, some more tips. <laughs> so some great stuff to take your trading to the next level. So as you guys already know, let's go into MetaTrader 4 and let's actually get things going. So I'll see you guys on the other side. I'm so excited to see us moving along into lesson two as we'll go over platform overviews and actually getting set up to get things started. As we already covered in lesson one, there are two ways that we can analyze the markets based off of a fundamental level and another based off of technical level, which is derived of price. MetaTrader 4 is actually going to be one of the main platforms that we're going to be utilizing to not only complete our analysis, but also execute and track our trades. The first thing I'm actually going to need you guys to do is to download MetaTrader 4. So for those individuals using Windows, we're going to go to MetaTrader4.com, select on the home icon, and just select download MetaTrader 4. Now for those individuals using Mac, it's slightly different just because MetaTrader was made mainly for Windows users. But for those individuals using Mac, we're still gonna be able to access the same platform, but we'll just go to xm.com, we'll select platforms, MT4 for Mac, and as we scroll down, we'll just select download. So hopefully downloading MetaTrader 4 wasn't too difficult, but if it was, feel free to contact support or myself and I'll walk you guys through actually getting things in, done in the process. So the first thing that we're actually going to do, because I literally want to scan through and show you guys the key essential parts and aspects of MetaTrader 4. So not only can you become a better, comfortable trader, but it's always good to know exactly the whole platform before actually executing and starting to trade, right? So the first thing we're going to go over literally as we scan through it all is this files tab. So one of the key things I want you guys to know is this section that says new chart, what it allows you to do is once clicked, you'll be able to see the different currency pairs that you have shown in your market watch. But also once you click on that currency pair, you're going to be able to access the market. So that's a good thing. Let's say if I want to go back, I'll select it again and I want to select gold, it'll open up again. So let's get out of those as we continue and we move into the open data folder. Essentially, the open data folder is going to be one of the folders that we utilize when we're going to install our indicators. Later on, as we continue our lessons, I'll make sure to complete an indicator video that will literally show you step by step how we're literally going to take our indicators, utilize it, and install it into MetaTrader 4. But as we continue, the next thing that I want to show you guys is this open account section and this login trade account section, which are two different places that we can go to if you either want to open a demo account or a live account, or you want to log into your existing demo or your live account. Later on, as we also continue, we're literally going to go step by step as we create a demo account or a live account, and as we literally migrate it and integrate it into MetaTrader 4 so you could trade off of that account. So the next thing I want to show you guys is this view tab. You know, the first thing that you're going to notice is the language section that allows you to literally select the language you use if you primarily don't speak English, you know? So as we scroll down, the next thing we're going to use is symbols. This section, what it actually allows you to do is to see all the currencies that you can trade. As you already saw earlier, you're going to see, you'll be, I only have a select few currencies selected. So as let me just open up all these folders just so you can have a basic understanding of how many different things you can trade. All right, so boom, I'll just stop there, all right? So as you see, some of them are highlighted in gold and the others are just regular blank. What this allows us to do is actually, for example, if you want to just trade a select few pairs, we're just going to literally focus in on those and just have those highlighted. Right? Because we don't need to see all these other currency pairs in those charts just to stay organized. 
So for this example, I'm just going to close out of here so you guys can see as we move into the market watch, the currency pairs that are available. And I'm literally going to take some off so you can see how the list comes shorter. So we'll go to symbols and let's just say I don't select these. But as you see on the left side, the list is getting smaller. Let's see which other ones. Great. So this market watch it obviously has all the currencies that you want to be shown. But as you click and you drag it over onto your platform, you're going to notice that the market actually opens. Awesome. So as we move on from our view tab, let me actually get out of this market. We'll see our terminal section. What this terminal section allows you to do is actually track your trade and see how you're doing, whether if in profit, if you want to change an existing stop loss or take profit, and just to see how you're doing overall. So as we continue moving on, one of the things I like to do over the weekend while the market is closed is actually test my strategy. You know, I love to always test, let's say, for example, a trend line or if it's obeying fibs. You could actually go back in time and actually type in the dates that you would like the market to go through and actually select the period in time, whether if it's based off of the minute 15, the minute hour, the daily, you know. And you could select, obviously, the currency pair you'd love to actually do this analysis off of. Now, once you select start, you're going to see that it's going to appear. It's going to update all the data, all the different candlesticks, and actually start in this period that you selected. And it's going to go candlestick by candlestick. Now, as you want, you can actually speed up that process by moving the navigator up closer, and it'll actually go a lot faster. So the next thing that I actually want to show you guys is as we open up a chart, let's say US CAD for this example, let me minimize that, is you're going to see this section called insert. Now in this section, you could insert all your different indicators, lines, channels, Fibonacci. You know, we're actually going to go over in our different segment all these different tools and how you can use it to benefit your trading. So as we continue and you move on to chart, let's say for this case we have US CAD open and we draw a basic trend line. You know, later on you'll learn about what a trend line is. But for this case, let's just draw a trend line to show you guys what happens when we select charts, objects. This is the part where you'll be able to delete anything that you have on your chart. You know, it can get pretty messy once you have all these horizontal lines, these trend lines, this Fibonacci, all these different tools, right? So once you select objects, objects list, you could actually see it, select it, and you see that it's selected on the MetaTrader app, and delete. Awesome. So for this case, we don't have any indicators, but you can do the same by selecting charts and indicators list. In this portion, you can also see how the chart looks in the bar, because in the past, it might be crazy to believe, but this is how it looked until we integrated into Japanese candlesticks, and there's also the line chart. So as we continue, you know, you can move into your different time frames, whether if you want it on the hour, the minute one, the minute five, and continue from that. If you don't want to have a grid on it, you can select it, and you'll see all these different things impact how the chart looks. So one of the things that we'll go over later into our just psychology of how things function is just properties, and we'll be able to change our layout of our chart in terms of the different color schemes. You know, later on, you'll notice that I have a select, you know, template that I use with specific colors just so it could help me in my trading. So as we continue on here, let's put this on a Japanese candlestick view. We'll be able to select tools, and this is actually where we place our orders. You could select one of the places. You could select new order, and you could either do a market instant execution or place a pending order. Later on, as we continue through the academy, we'll have a section that's just based off of market execution and pending orders, because as you select pending order, there's actually different types, whether if it's a buy limit, a sell limit, a buy stop, and a sell stop that you can place. And you know, sometimes it gets a little out of hand that you get confused with things. So as we continue on to window, you can select your new window if you want. Boom, another chart. And here, as we stay with US CAD, we're just going to go over quickly the icons, because basically, this is the portion where you'll be able to actually click on the icon where it'll be a lot easier and accessible to doing the actions you want it to do. So as we select our new chart, you can actually click and select the new chart you'd love to view. Let's say EuroCAD for this case. Perfect. So our market watch is right here. And once you select that, as we minimize these other 
charts. What you can do is, as I mentioned earlier, see all the pairs, but once you select it and drag it right over, the new chart opens. As we continue, you can also see the portion of the terminal, which is right here. Your new order, which is the same place where you could place your trade. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the different types of charts there are. So for this case, we have our zoom out and our zoom in. And a function as you move it, because originally it's like this, you select this portion right here and it'll move it to the far right. So the next thing you'll see is in our indicators list where you'll be able to place, install any indicators. You know, all of these are custom one by one indicators. And then our time frames and our template section where you'll be able to install the template you would like. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. So as we move into our MetaTrader app overview, we'll definitely get things started in terms of installing it all and going over the app functions as we move into our trading view platform, which is a lot user friendly that I also use to analyze it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and took a lot of notes. This is me, Anthony Torado, signing off.